in this branch you have to downgrade from i17 to i16 without losing any data so now let's jump to the video so for this video there's three things you need so for first your iphone and then a computer you can use any laptop or computer you want uh, and also you can use any mac and for the last thing is iphone cable okay for the first thing is you have to download itunes so if you don't have it open up my microsoft store or, or you can actually a uh, google and just uh, type in itunes to happen to download after that you can open it up after that is open and i can plug in your iphone and then if you get this make sure you click on trust and after that you're gonna put the iphone password this just click on continue after that you should see iphone logo right here if you don't see it just give it a few seconds you're gonna go down until you find backup you're gonna click on backup so if you see automated backup that means it don't have to click backup but things that actually gonna back up your device so back up your system make sure if you're on ios 16. so after the, after that is done and i can open up any browser so after you open up the browser you can type ipsw and you're gonna click on enter after that you're gonna tap on the first link so after you tap on the first thing and i'm gonna click iphone and now you're gonna uh, click on the iphone you have so for me it's 11 so i'm gonna click on that now after that you're gonna uh, click on the assign uh, ipsw so it's 16.5 and click on it and then you're gonna click on download just now for this it's gonna take a like about like a 15 20 minute because this is like a 6.4 gigabyte so after that is done so for me i already have this installed so that's i'm gonna install it again after that is done now i'm gonna open itunes again after that after that you can open up your setting after that you're gonna tap on your apple id after that you're gonna tap on find my and then make sure for, for uh, find my if for this step make sure it's off after that after that it's gonna ask for apple id password so make sure you put that in after find my is off now you're gonna go back to your computer and, and now you're gonna go up until you find a register iphone now you're gonna hold shift and the, after that you're gonna click on, on register iphone and now it's gonna open up this so now we're gonna go to a download and now we're gonna uh, select the download you just made so for, for me it's 16.5 so i'll just click open after that you're gonna hit restore for this part it's gonna take some time so that's uh, where i'm gonna actually a uh, fast forward this bit okay so th after it's done and now you have to just set up your device so just click on your language click on where you live and after that you have to choose your uh, wi-fi so after that it's gonna say it's gonna take a few minutes to activate so just give it a few minutes like a one to two minute okay so after that you're gonna click on continue and for this you're gonna click on set up later just click on don't use now click on don't use and then for this make sure you click on don't trust with any app on data and then over here for apple id you're gonna set that up later just click on don't use and now click on agree continue now now disable just hey, it doesn't matter for just now it doesn't matter for now click on set up later set up later set up later don't share continue continue boom it's hey, just like this so on and now they don't do anything so on your pc and now i'm gonna click on windows r and after that it is gonna type in this right here you're gonna type in a percentage a you can type in percentage user profile percentage or you can type in a percentage app data percentage just now just now for it there are this gonna work you're gonna click on apple then you're gonna click on mobile sync you're gonna click on backup and i'm gonna click on the a uh, current a uh, backup you made you're gonna click on that you're gonna go all the way down up to there you're gonna right click on it you can show more option and click on open with and now i'm gonna click on uh, notepad and now i'm gonna click on all of us and now now it's gonna open up this so now you're gonna click on Control F, and now we're just gonna type in product. Okay, so after so after you type in product, now you're gonna uh, look for iOS right here. So you're gonna say iOS 17 right here. So make sure you change that to i 16.5. So make sure you do this because if you don't do this, it's not gonna work. So after that, you're gonna hit cross. And after that, you're gonna tap on file. You're gonna click on save, and make sure that's save. After that, you're gonna go back to iTunes and then just give it a few seconds until your iPhone to pop up. And then, if you get this automatic, you can just click on it and now you're gonna uh, click on a backup and now you're gonna see a backup right here. You're gonna click on continue and then and now you're gonna ask for a password that you made and click on OK. If you didn't if you didn't make a password it's not gonna ask for it after that it, it's gonna uh, start a restoring it just not just not for restoring it's gonna take some time depending on how much stuff it you have on your iphone so finally it's done i can just click on swipe up and as you can see it's saying restore is complete you can continue after that give it a few seconds and for this we're gonna set up later for a postcode we're gonna set up we're gonna set up later just click on don't use skip this part skip set up later continue 
set up later don't share continue boom look at this everything we have from a uh, before is back open up the setting tap on general tap on sub drop you're gonna see we're gonna be back to 16.5 so that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop it and don't forget to click that subscribe button also when you see sir i'm setting in to change after i've been to 17 you can click on this video right here also when you see how to install r7 for absolutely free you can uh, click on this video right here and peace